Hi and welcome to JB Military Antiques preview of the auction coming up on the 25th and 26th of June. Uh, this is our spe first specialist military auction for the year and I'm Jamie Blewett, I'm the owner of JB Military Antiques and I'm going to take you through a selection of the items for auction uh, today. So uh, we'll start here, we've got a, um, a good selection of Japanese swords and Japanese armour. Uh, we've got about 25 Japanese swords, uh, ranging from the 15th century all the way through to World War II. Um, so as you can see here, we've got a really nice set of armour um, that's coming up for auction, and a selection of officers and NCO swords. So these have been really, really popular over the last uh, decade or so, and prices have really uh, been high for these. But to get a selection of these from um, one single collection is going to be something that's going to be of interest to most collectors. So they'll be coming up in our uh, weapons section of the auction. But we're going to start looking today at um, some of the German medals. Um, German medals and badges um, are one of the areas that um, collectors like to look at uh, and add to their collection. Um, obviously we guarantee all the items in our auctions to be uh, of genuine origin. So we have a 100% money back guarantee on everything that we sell. So for those of you who, who sometimes question whether items are original or not, um, have no fear, we guarantee everything we sell. So if ever in the future you have a, any issues with anything we sell, certainly get in touch with us and we can talk about um, any refund options that you have. Moving along, we've got some nice uh, medals and awards here. Um, most of these date from sort of the imperial um, part of the German military history um, and all the way through to World War II. Um, so good selection of Naval, Army and Air Force badges and medals. So pretty much there's, there's a good selection of, of items for every budget. I've interested a, a number of documented groups. Um, so we've got some good German Special Forces documented groups with medals and badges. So once again, check out the catalogue, make sure you have a look at all the photos. Moving on, we've got a good selection of uh, 20th century Australian um, uniform badges and collars. Um, this is from a long, long standing collection that we're selling. And uh, for those of you familiar with our auctions, you'll know that we sold a good selection of this same collection uh, from the First and Second World War. This portion of the auction contains the remainder of the Second World War badges and the post-war 1950s and 60s badges. Various regiments and units. Um, so once again, have a look at your catalogue. Um, all the photos are there. Moving on um, to one of our more popular areas of our auction are the weapons. So these are the edge weapons, so including daggers and bayonets. Once again, good selection from Germany, Australia, and Japan. We do have a good selection of Wilkinson sword made um, daggers and uh, bayonets from one collection. Uh, and the gentleman whose collection this is from actually worked at Wilkinson sword during the 50s and 60s. Moving on, we have our usual selection of uh, German daggers. Uh, once again, we've got over 20 daggers in the auction. Um, prices range from, you know, the three to $400 into the single thousands. And uh, for some of the SS pieces, uh, most likely in the 10,000 plus region. So again, very good selection there, all original, all guaranteed. Um, I've noticed the M36 German SS dagger with the uh, chain hanger and the knot. It's the most superb example I've ever seen. Um, and for those of you who are into your daggers, have a look at that one and uh, we hope to see that one achieve a very good price indeed. We've got a good selection of uh, German candlestick holders here as well. Um, these, these were mainly sort of uh, made up from swords and daggers that had to be um, taken out of service after the uh, defeat of Germany in 1918. 
So obviously a lot of the best way to do it is to uh, turn them into candlestick holders. So if you're into that sort of thing, they're of interest. Uh, moving on, we're looking at our um, ordnance. And uh, we've got a good selection of grenades here and ordnance and fuses. Uh, a good number of Mills grenades in there, including some European grenades as well. Also got a good selection of black powder weapons this time, um, including blunderbusses and um, pistols. Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the uh, larger pieces of ordnance. So we've got a lot of shell cases and um, spent ammunition, um, as you can see here, um, including a, a, a frame style, uh, which would be nice for any veteran who's ever used that service weapon. And we've got the usual assortment of, of bayonets, service bayonets. and replica weapons. Okay, so uh, a good selection of headgear. Uh, we've got a beautiful Coldstream Guard officer's um, helmet here including uh, some early Federa Federation era fire helmets. Some good breastplates and armour, as well as some uh, good selection of peaked hats here. Moving on, we've got our usual assortment of German headgear, including spiked helmets, First World War camo helmets, um, the Second World War era helmets, including uh, some of the um, non-military organisations. Um, a really nice example of uh, NSKK uh, motorcycle helmet down there. Uh, side caps. And we move on to the uh, officer's caps over here. So we've got a beautiful example of a Luftwaffe officer's cap, as well as an NCO SS uh, cap. Good selection of Jap Japanese helmets and uh, worldwide helmets, including a nice uh, Australian fencing uh, military helmet there. As usual, we have a good selection of uh, period Second World War German flags, including a very, very scarce uh, 1920s era podium banner there. It's a really nice example, it's the first the type I've ever seen. Um, and uh, it should attract some interest amongst collectors. Those of you who are interested in model aeroplanes, um, we've got a good selection of model aeroplanes. Nate will be able to show you those shortly. But the piece I really would like to show you is um, this protective vest that came from the Wilkinson collection and this was purportedly uh, made for the British Prime Minister Harold Wilson uh, during the Troubles um, in the late 60s and early 70s and this was apparently worn by Harold Wilson when he uh, went to Northern Ireland for his visit um, after the Troubles had started. Uh, we, we weren't aware that Wilkinson ever made these until we met um, the son of the, of the collector who worked at Wilkinson Sword who said that um, his father was instrumental in making the design and implement, implementation of these pre protective vests. The selection of uh, model aeroplanes are all metal die cast, uh, quality pieces. Uh, again, consult the catalogue. Um, some really good designs there. Most of them still retain the original boxes. So if you're into your collecting and models, um, this is a really good opportunity to get your hands on one of these.
and this lovely piece here, this um, suit of armour, we believe it to be about, about from the 1800s. It's a, it's a period copy of something from the 1500s um, from one long-term WA collection and um, some beautiful scroll work and engravings to the metal and certainly something that would look fantastic in your own collection. For those of you inter interested in your Japanese uniforms, we've got several mannequins uh, of uniforms in this auction. Uh, again, from a local collection. Um, and these pieces are becoming very hard to source these days, especially in this good condition um, as presented. And they're certainly things that would look really good in your own collection. So that's a good rundown of uh, what we've got on offer coming up next weekend. Um, the 25th and 26th of June, we start each day's auction at 9am. The auction can be, can be accessed via invaluable.com, via our website. The full catalogue is on invaluable.com with photos of each item. You can register to bid either in person at, at the auction rooms, uh, our viewing in the shop is Thursday and Friday before the auction and between 7 and 9 a.m. each morning of the auction. You can bid in person, you can have a phone bid pre-arranged by the auction rooms, you can also have an, an absentee bid organised and you can bid live in the rooms. You can also bid now and live on the, each of the days via invaluable.com and come and collect the items or we can send out most of the items based on your request. So there really is no excuse not to be involved in this great auction. You can, uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly contact us um, and clarify any issues that you've got in terms of postage or bidding or anything else. And we wish you the best of luck on each of the days. Thanks very much.